On you tonight, Housing and Urban Development Secretary Julian Castro visiting the valley. Castro met with local leaders to speak about smaller communities and how the Hispanic population is changing Texas. CBS 4's Patrick Chalvier has more. Julian Castro says it's his job to make sure that the future of the communities, especially the smaller ones, are on the right path. In an effort to better their communities, local Cameron County leaders and the Lower Valley Hispanic Chamber of Commerce hosted a luncheon in Rio Hondo for United States Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, Julian Castro. For him to uh, meet our, our, our uh, local leaders and understand uh, take a closer look at the needs and stuff of our communities. I think it's a great opportunity for us. The former mayor of San Antonio and the youngest member in President Barack Obama's cabinet says his trip to the valley was something personal, wanting to give back to the community in any way he could. This area of Texas is a growing area. It represents a, a future part of the state, uh, and it's one that HUD uh, looks forward to being strong partners with to create more opportunity in people's lives. We invest a lot in community development block grants, in home funding, in other resources that help make housing more affordable and also help cities revitalize themselves. The grandson of a Mexican orphan who came to Texas in 1922 Castro says he understands what thousands of families go through, struggling to survive and looking for a way to better themselves in a country of opportunity. And my grandmother, like a lot of the, the immigrants of today, led a very humble life, but their lives still have a lot of value uh, to our country, and they help move us forward as a nation. They help create the great American success story that, that this nation has been, and that's happening today with so many immigrants some of whom were here in the valley, others in other places. During his speech Saturday, Castro highlighted a number of topics he's tackled during his time with HUD, including the growth of small cities and for the Chamber of Commerce, which includes cities like Combs, Santa Rosa and Raymondville. Any advice given by Castro wasn't taken lightly. The Latino community in Texas is growing quickly. Uh, it's so important to the future of the United States and it's important to make good investments in the Latino community but in all communities out here in the valley. Brownsville Mayor Tony Martinez was also in attendance. Having known Castro for years, Martinez says he's still in awe at the work the young secretary has done. Most recently, the work he and HUD did with the Connect Home Initiative, giving HUD-assisted families with school-aged children access to the internet. I think hopefully we'll be looking at that challenge uh, as he mentioned, we're part of the Stronger City, Stronger Communities program already with the White House. So again, we had a chance to work with him a lot. So I'm, this, is, this is a love fest for me. The 39-year-old Mexican-American is a Clinton supporter and rumored to be a potential vice presidential running mate if Clinton wins the Democratic Party's nomination. However, it's a topic of conversation Castro prefers to avoid, but believes one day a Hispanic will hold the top office. I have no doubt that in the years to come that we're going to have a Latino or a Latina president, and that'll be meaningful for not only for the Latino community, but for the rest of the nation. Prior to his speech, Castro met privately with mayors and local leaders who told me that they're going to take what they learned today and work to implement that into the community. In the studio, Patrick Chalvier, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.